Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new sprite for the new hero, Nakaru, which looks absolutely amazing, and her skills, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, we'll do the summon for the random giveaway. If it's purple, it's a giveaway video. Man, we're not getting lucky on these, not getting lucky. Anyway, what we really came here for. Now, first of all, this sprite is probably my favorite sprite in the game. I don't know why. I think it's just because um, whether that's a hawk or an eagle. I think it's a hawk. I, I don't know. What eagle? What The bird. The bird is awesome. I think that's my favorite part. Uh, I reckon she looks pretty cool too. Like, I mean, she's got that dagger in the back. Like, I just reckon it's a wicked looking sprite. And I'm like... They, they said these guys are all going to be free to play obtainable, so depending on how long it's going to take me to get her free to play, like, I'll probably just buy her because she looks so cool just so I have her because that's a cool sprite. I reckon that looks absolutely wicked. Let me know what you guys think. I know everyone has different tastes, but to me, that bird is absolutely insane. Like, such a great sprite design. I'm just, I'm absolutely pumped for it, basically. So now let's shift that over there so we can still look at it and then let's open up the skills. Um, so these, the image I found on the AFK Arena Discord posted by Savius Thick Thighs, absolutely love the name, it's wicked. Um, and then the, uh, the actual text that we've got for the skills uh, was posted by Sky over on Discord as well. So shout outs there. Um, let me just open up the things on my screen. Here we go. Okay, so the abilities are running chest jab, which is normally going to be the ultimate because it's the first skill listed. Uh, Nakaruru knocks a single enemy target into the ground, removing all their defensive shield effects as a result, and then proceeds to stab the enemy, dealing so much damage to the target. So not too bad. Kind of like a good one, like you can line up for a Brutus, kind of like you do with... Um, you can manual play this just to wait for Brutus shield and then destroy him. Uh, that's the main reason I'm going to see it. Also good against Lucius with the shields and stuff like that. But overall, not too bad. Um, I mean, it's knocking them to the ground. It'll be interesting to see how long they're knocked to the ground for and how long it, it actually disables them. But all in all, if it does decent damage, it's actually not too bad of an ability and I can get around that. Next skill, I can't really read this. What is it? Ka uh, Kamui Remuse? Something like that. Anyway, you know, <laughs> I can't read. Uh, Nakaru attacks any enemies that are within range of her. Um, will be interesting to see the range once again. Uh, so many times... Each attack deals so much damage to the targets and also interrupts their current actions. Really nice when you have interrupts, um, especially if it's going to interrupt ultimates as well, which it, the, later on one of her abilities says... Um, okay, it also... So much of the damage caused by this ability will recover as health to her. That's cool. But yeah, it'll be interesting if it interrupts ultimates. Uh, one of her later abilities says it doesn't interrupt ultimates, but this would be cool if it does. Um, obviously, you can't time this one. It's just on auto. So you could get lucky with a few fights and play for RNG with that. So not too bad. It's a cleave with an interrupt and a lifesteal, basically. So I, like, I can get around that. Uh, next ability... I'm not even going to try to read that one. We'll call it Amu. Sh <laughs> Sh Shiki 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 Kapu? Amu? Anyway, I hope they translate these names. <laughs> I like the running chess jab as the first skill. <laughs> then the rest are struggling with. But anyway. Um, uh, Mama Haha, which is the bird, swoops down and attacks a backline enemy as they are preparing to use an ability excluding ultimate abilities that's what i was talking about uh dealing so much damage to them causing them to be stunned for so many seconds uh this ability can be activated once every so many seconds so it's as this i could see being really really useful depending on rng whether it's like whether it's going to be the same enemy every fight with the first interrupt but for things like pharrell and arden in those type of fights where you know they put their fear or roots out if you can get this as just a passive where it interrupts them and stuns them when they try and use that ability that could really change a lot of campaign fights where you know the cc is annoying when normally you'd put like an athalia on them or something like that you might be able to just put her in here and uh, gain the benefit from that so that'll be interesting to see but i really like the way it's like 
it's just like a guaranteed interrupt. Uh, really, really nice. Also has that stun tied to it. It will be interesting to see how long the stun is and um, how long like the cooldown on the use of it is, but I really do like that. Obviously, it's going to get wasted a lot against some abilities that don't really matter. For instance, if you're going to like interrupt a Shamira Soul Siphon, is not as important as interrupting a Pharrell Fear or an Arden Roots, but will be interesting to see obviously doesn't interrupt ultimate abilities but it's still a cool ability and i just want to see animations of this bird flying everywhere because that bird looks wicked um next one uh kamui matsub no idea nakaru uh, is carried this is this one's this i cannot wait to see the, how this one looks this this is going to be cool uh, Nakaru is carried by uh, Mama Haha towards the weakest enemy target. And like, I'm just looking at the okay, okay, take take for a second. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Take for a second the size of the bird versus the size of her. <laughs> I just want to see her riding that bird. Whether she stands up, whether she's like got arms around the neck. Like, I don't know how it happens. But the sizing is a bit cool. So <laughs> I'm just... Maybe the bird grows. Maybe she's shri. I don't know, but I want to see how it does. Oh, it'd be cool. It says she rides the bird, but it'd be cool if the bird just grabbed her by the shoulders and took her over. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But <laughs> I think it's going to look either really cool or really strange. One of the two, but I'm pumped to see it anyway. Sorry about that. Got a bit sidetracked. Nakaru is carried by Mama Haha towards the weakest enemy. Once close enough, Nakaruru pounces on the enemy target, dealing so much damage to them. This ability may be used up to two times per battle. Once when Nakaruru's health falls below a certain point um, for the first time, and again when it falls below a certain point for the first time. Uh, while being carried by Mamahaha, Nakaruru cannot be attacked and will recover a certain amount uh, of her attack rating as health. That's cool. That's really cool. So, obviously, it's like a, it, it's it's like a cool execute, but she has to take damage. So it's like the weakest enemy. So I feel like you might be able to put her in the front row for this. Uh, I still don't know. I'm 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 guessing she's going to be a, a leather based hero. That's my guess because I haven't found that out yet. But I'm thinking you're going to be able to put her in the front row because as soon as she drops below a certain percent like health. She's going to get picked up, start healing, and go to the weakest enemy, which is normally going to be in the back row, which is avoiding those frontline enemies. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how long it'll take her, like whether the bird whether the bird picks her up and then slowly, 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 so she has time to recover, whether it's a quick thing. I don't know, but she gets it two times. So I just feel like it's, it's almost like a cheat death, the way I read it. Uh... So yeah, I think, I think the cheat death thing is kind of cool. I'll be interested to see how it works in the end, but all in all, I kind of like it. Um, finally, Heavy Slash, which this is probably going to be uh, the signature item, stuns enemies for a certain amount of seconds and sends them hurling into the air whenever normal attack deals a critical damage. Uh, frequency of normal attacks is raised by a certain amount in battle. Stun effect lasts for so many seconds. Um... Like, that's gonna be. I, I feel like if you get enough crit rate on her with this, uh, the the normal attacks when they crit, they're gonna like like you 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 do normal attacks a lot. So I feel like it's gonna be like one enemy just like bouncing up and down in the air and just completely locked out. That's the way I read it. It might have an internal cooldown. I don't know. But, but but when I read that, I'm looking at it like she's just gonna be attacking someone and they're just gonna be bouncing, and that's pretty much it. Stuns enemies for so many seconds and sends them hurling into the air. If you get enough crit rate, uh, I don't know something like put like a chicken in there for the crit rate passive. I don't know who else, but anyway, if you get the crit rate up enough, uh, that, that I feel like it could look pretty funny. Um, so you put her in the tank position, she takes a chunk of damage, goes to the weakest enemy, and then bounces them in the air for a while. If the weakest enemy is in the back row, hopefully she's out of range of the other targets, she won't get focused. That means she's in the back row, knocking someone up until they die, then she'll go to the next one, knock them up. If she drops below again, she'll get lifted up, heal up. I just, I think it sounds cool. I think it sounds cool, and then she's got something for Brutus with the shield on the ultimate. Um, and yeah, and then she's still got that cleave. 
which interrupts uh, and the bird that has the passive interrupt i actually really like this kit it doesn't sound just like straight up op but it sounds like it's gonna work nicely into a lot of things uh it's just i feel like she's gonna be fairly splashable because she has cc and damage i don't know maybe she could be a decent carry damage dealer wait and see how we get her free to play i might try her on the free to play account as like the main carry we, we could we could try that I don't know we'll have a play around but anyway that's her skills that's her sprite i love the sprite it looks so cool uh keen to see how it goes we'll cover any more news we get about it but um it should be what about four or five days depending on where we are depending on where they time it about four or five days before she comes into the game so absolutely pumped to see her like i said probably one of my favorite sprites in the game i love the bird uh it's all cool anyway i'm gonna stop rambling thanks for watching guys hope you have an awesome day and i'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers